Hi, welcome to Chris Cook for you too. In keeping up with the Thanksgiving Day tradition, tonight we're going to be making fast and easy homemade cranberry sauce. Let's get started with the ingredients that you're going to need. You're going to need sugar, of course the cranberries, and water. That's all it takes. Just a little bit of sugar, some cranberries, and water. So I'm going to go away and get these cranberries all washed up. I'm going to start some water to boil on the stove, and I'll meet you at the stove. Be right back. Okay, now I'm at the stove, and as you can see, my water has already begun to boil. So I'm going to go ahead and add my sugar to this. So I'm adding a cup and a fourth of granulated sugar. Sorry, my bowl was a little bit wet. To that, I'm going to allow, first of all, my sugar just to dissolve in my water. Now, this is going to be the easiest, the, <laughs> the easiest dish on your Thanksgiving Day table. This is really, really easy. So, you want to continue to stir that until... The sugar has dissolved. Once it dissolves, then you want to add your cranberries. Now, cranberries are very bitter. So once you add them to this sweetened water, that's what's going to help to uh, sweeten the cranberries up. And I love cranberries with dressing. I truly do love it. But you can make your own. You don't have to buy it. If you want to put a twist on it, you can add a little bit of orange juice. That'll put a nice twist on it. Or you can add any kind of flavoring that you may want in order to... Pineapples would be good to add to it. But I'm just going to do it with straight cranberries. Now, when once you put your cranberries in... And this is three cups of cranberries that I'm adding. I think it was about three cups. But as usual, your recipe will be in the description box. So the cranberries was a 12 ounce bag. So I'm thinking that that was about, uh, I think it was two cups, not really certain, but I'll have it in the description box. So these are gonna start to pop. And once they start to burst open, that's how you get your, if you've ever had cranberry sauce with the whole cranberries in it, that's what it is. Now, if you want to strain it before it actually gets cool so that you can have just the cranberry sauce with no berries, you can do that as well. Now, it's going to be once uh, this cranberries is going to thicken up as it goes on. But once this cranberry sauce is actually um, comes to where it's done, then you have to let it sit no less than four hours. You have to let it sit four hours in order for it to gel up. It's going to thicken, but it's going to have to gel up. Now, you can hear them popping. Hear that? They're bursting open. And you can see some of them. See? They're beginning to burst. You can even see them. I'm going to allow this to slow simmer for 20 minutes. All of the ingredients are in. is just water, sugar, and the cranberries. But I'm going to allow this to simmer for 20 minutes. Putting the top on. Just going to let it simmer. And once it thickens up, I'm going to bring you back. And that's about 20 minutes. So I'll bring you back in 20 minutes and show you exactly what this looks like. But from now on, you can make your own cranberry sauce. None of that canned stuff. Be right back. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, so I'm back at the stove. And see how it's thickened up? See how good it looks? Now, you can strain that out. You can run through a strainer if you don't like the berries in your cranberry sauce. But I love the berries in my cranberry sauce. You know, some things are so easy to make. All we have to do is just give it a try. 
You know, but look at this. That's better than anything you're going to get in the store. Look at it. Okay, so now you have to allow it to sit for four hours, no less than four hours. I'm actually cooking this. I want to turn my stove off. I'm actually cooking this two days uh, before the holiday. Okay, this is a Tuesday. The holiday is on the Thursday. And as you can see, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a bowl. I'm going to allow it to sit overnight because it's uh, uh, it's night here. So I'm going to put it in a bowl, allow it to sit overnight, and I'm going to show you what it looks like in the morning. But look at that. You cannot mess it up. You got three ingredients. All you got to do is make sure that you don't burn it. And if you keep your stove on low, you will not burn it. But see how it thickened up? So now it's going to gel up. So... I'm going to allow it to cool in this pan for a little while. Then I'm going to put it into a dish and I'm going to put it in my uh, refrigerator once it cools down. Keep it until tomorrow and I'll show you exactly what it looks like. But this is what we're having on Thanksgiving Day table. We're going to have our own homemade cranberry sauce and I hope you do the same. I'll see you in the morning. Okay, now I'm back and I'm going to go ahead and end this video because you can see right now what it is that I'm saying about it needs to sit for four hours. I didn't put it into the refrigerator yet. The only thing I did was just put it in a bowl and I allowed it to just sit until it would cool off because it's still a little bit warm. It's not very warm, but it's still a little bit warm to the touch. But I wanted to show it to you. See, it's not solid because it's moving just a little bit. But you see how it's thick thickened up and it tastes delicious i mean it's oh so good of course i had to taste test so that's exactly what i did but you see how it's actually solid now before it turns like this if you want to take out the berries and just have the cranberry gel you can go ahead and do it but i like mine with the berries in it as well and see this came out excellent. So, so easy. No way you can mess it up. So put this down on your table. You're going to get raves over this as well, but it takes you away from all that canned stuff. And now you can make your very own cranberry sauce. Happy holidays to you. Bye.